Carrie from Red Curtain Addict, and tonight we're celebrating the San Francisco Symphony's opening night gala. We're celebrating the 108th season of our local musicians here in the Bay Area, and this is MTT's last season as the music director. I'm gonna head inside and see what people are saying. Let's check it out. I'm with Annie and Annie, the co-chairs of tonight's Symphonics Dinner. What has been one of the most favorite things for you to prep this? What has been on your kind of radar of getting people together for tonight? It's an incredible event. It's the largest fundraising event the Symphony puts on every year. It takes months and months of planning in advance. We do designs with the tables. We have several tastings for the menus. It's an incredible labor of love from both the Symphony and the young professionals who support it and volunteer. It's incredible to be a part of. I love that. And what's your favorite part of tonight's gala? Well, if you think about it, the symphony is all about engaging audiences. And so the Symphonics Dinner specifically, we're really excited to bring the young professional community together to celebrate MTT's 25th and final season. And again, all of this goes towards community outreach and education um, with a strong emphasis on kids. So it's really special. We're really happy to be here. What a great cause. Well, you ladies have done an incredible job. I can't wait to sit down to, at dinner with you all and celebrate the wonderful season. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. with Matt Young from the San Francisco Symphony. He's a violist. What is the orchestra feeling tonight about the, tonight's gala? We are, in, if I had to choose a word, very proud of what Michael has done with the San Francisco Symphony. He's an alchemist of the highest order and we're so lucky to be working with him. And this is the last season for MTT. How are your feelings about him leaving this season? Well, the good news is he will be back several times a year good. in perpetuity. And I think it's also great because we're pulling out all the stops this year. This week we've been rehearsing with Metallica. In June, the last concert of the year, we're doing Mahler 8, which is uh, the Symphony of a Thousand. It's a very optimistic, uplifting piece. I can't wait. So many concerts you all do all year long. What are some of your highlights that you're most looking forward to play? Anything by Brahms. Um, and Michael's always finding new things for us to get our teeth into artistically. So it's never boring on stage. They do over 300 concerts, the San Francisco Symphony musicians do, all year long. So you have to check out our highlights that we have on redcurtainaddict.com. But there's so many concerts that you guys do, from the family concerts, to movies and music, to Brahms, like you mentioned. So we definitely hope that you come see Matt and the San Francisco Symphony. Congratulations on a wonderful night. Yeah. The concert just ended and now everyone is headed outside for the after party, which is one of my favorite parts of the symphony. We're out here to toast the night and to celebrate MTT's 25 years with the San Francisco Symphony. Congratulations MTT and to the San Francisco Symphony for an amazing gala. Now let's go see how people are having fun. I am with Jessica, who plays the French horn with the San Francisco Symphony. Jessica, what are the orchestra's thoughts for tonight? Well, we're thrilled to give Michael a big send-off for his 25th year with us. Such a huge celebration. Have you loved playing with Michael over the few years? Yeah, this is my 12th season, so Michael hired me, and um, he's so creative and has so many great ideas, and, and uh, we've been lucky to have him. I love that. I have to know, too, what pieces are on your radar that you would recommend us going to see this season? Well, I would say something that you don't hear very often is Mahler's Eighth Symphony. It requires a huge, a huge amount of musicians and chorus and children's chorus, and uh, it, it rarely gets done, and it will be Michael's very last thing to do with us. Um, and as a horn player, I have to say the Holiday Brass Concert is my personal favorite. I love that. So Beth, definitely check that out. And congratulations on a wonderful performance tonight. You are amazing. Thanks, Jessica. Oh, honey, though our friendship ceases from